Well, my name is Mary Cord, and I live in Ashland, Oregon right now. And um, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to, to hike on long distance trails. I was a uh, firefighter for 30 years with government agencies and I retired at age 55 and now I'm doing long distance hiking. I've been hiking since I was 19 and so I'm 64 now. <laughs> So you can do the math, I guess. Well, I came here um, in September, and I did the section of trail through the West Little Owyhee, and that was the first time I'd really been in this area. I had never been there before that. I was doing it as part of uh, hiking the Oregon Desert Trail, which goes from Bend through the Owyhee area and ends at Lake Owyhee State Park. Well, the trail is really varied. Uh, you'll come across, you'll go through lava fields outside of Bend, and um, then you hit like grasslands and then you go up to, uh, there's an observatory on Pine Mountain. You hit the uh, Fremont National Forest where you're going through a uh, forested area. And then the Carza Canyon lands here in the Hawaii is a total another section. If you've been hiking for a while and you want a new challenge in a place of great beauty and you want to take your hiking skills up a notch, I would just recommend this place. I would say that the solitude mixed with the challenge, plus the beauty, those three things together, make it really a special place. For future generations, I would hope that the Hawaii um, could stay the way it is now. Over 30 years, I have seen um, a lot of wild places um, come under siege from outside development. I think that, um, that public input and public um, knowledge, keeping a knowledge of what's going on in, in the areas that you like to hike and be in is really important. If you want something done in an area and are, are a proponent, you should um, give your input into the land management agencies. I think that that's really important. I'd, I would just like to see everybody brought along with the land management planning process and it especially includes people that live here like you know people that are in the ranchers and people in the local communities that have been here for generations. Um, I'm totally grateful to the ranchers. Uh, I, we use the water from their cow troughs you know they are gracious people uh, and so I, I would like to see their concerns brought into the whole planning process so that it's an equal a level playing field. You know, I want us to bring you know, business to these towns so that they can see that there's an advantage to having hikers, climbers, and bird watchers you know, come, come through. You know. It's a real blow to our imagination as a people in this country that we can't see far sighted enough to see the value of saving a place like this or protecting it.